my dear learners assalamu alaikum adab how are you obviously you are not fine <laughs> because uh, you have been confined uh, to the four walls of your house because of this pandemic but uh, you you have to be accustomed with this condition for the safety okay for your uh, for your life uh, today uh, Today, uh, I would uh, like to analyze uh, lesson one of unit two of your text. At first, uh, I would analyze uh, the passages, and afterwards, I would give you some questions which which uh, are very very important for your coming exams. Okay, please open at uh, page uh, seventeen of your text, please. You need to listen to one greatest scientific achievements. The artificial heart. There is nothing that piques the interest of a human being quite as much as, much as the prospect of living a longer life. Implanting a person with an artificial heart in 1982 was an extraordinary a step towards increasing uh, the human lifespan. A Seattle-based dentist, Dr. Barney Clark, was, was the first person implanted with the Jarvik Seven, an artificial heart uh, intended to last a lifetime. The Jarvik Seven artificial heart was designed by Robert Jarvie, though the patient uh, survived 112 days, it was a huge step towards the development of human transplant surgery. One day, more advanced uh, versions of artificial organs will likely allow us to live much longer and more productive lives. When we get there, we will owe a lot to Robert Jarvik's artificial heart. My dear learners, who wants to die? Everybody wants to live more and more. Human beings have been trying from time immemorial uh, to invent something that would uh, increase the lifespan. In, in 1982, that uh, endeavor of human beings came true because at that time, Mr. Robert Jarvie, a great scientist, invented or designed the first ever uh, artificial heart. At that time, uh, a Seattle-based uh, dentist, uh, Dr. Barney Clark, uh, he was the first uh, uh, lucky person uh, to get that uh, first ever artificial heart in implanted into his body. His heart got damaged and he was a dying patient. And so uh, he was transplanted with that artificial heart, Jarvik cell. With that uh, artificial heart, Mr. Clark survived 112 days. Obviously, it's not a long time, but my dear, for a dying patient, it's a very, very long time. Okay. You know that in near future, more advanced versions of artificial uh, organs uh, will be invented, inshallah. Whenever it will be done, we must be indebted to Robert Jarvie because he was the pioneer in inventing the first ever artificial human heart. Now, my dear uh, 
uh, go to the second option, the second, uh, second invention, that is cell phones. Phones have been around uh, since the late 1800s, but cell phones made their appearance only in the 1990s. Today, by some estimates, more than 100 million people in Bangladesh and more than 4.6 billion people worldwide have mobile phones. Anything that is useful and uh, spreads uh, so fast has to be considered one of the greatest inventions of all time. Just two decades ago in Bangladesh, even landlines were difficult to obtain, let alone mobile phones or cell phones. Today, people from all social strata use cell phones, from street vendors to business executives, in luxury cars, and from villagers to urbanites. Since May 2015, Bangladesh joined its South Asian neighboring countries, India 862 millions and Pakistan 122 millions on the list of countries with 100 million um, or more mobile phone users. The other countries on the list are China, 1 billion users, Russia, Brazil, the United States of America, Indonesia, Japan, Germany, the Philippines, and Nigeria. My dear learners, mobile phone obviously has become an indispensable part of our life. Without a mobile phone, we can't do anything. We have been actually habituated. That is, it has become an inseparable part of our life. But mobile phone uh, appeared uh, in the 1990s. Uh, in Bangladesh, I can remember, uh, mobile phone at first appeared uh, in 1999 to 2000. And at that time, there was only one mobile phone operator, Citizen. And the call rate was also very high. Uh, from uh, city cell to city cell, uh, they cost um, uh, seven taka. And from city cell to land phone, they cost uh, 25 taka at first. However, uh, you know that uh, in Bangladesh now, uh, more than 10 crores of people, that is uh, more than 100 millions people are using mobile phones out of uh, about 16 crores. So from this, uh, from this estimate or from this stat, uh, you can easily understand uh, how indispensable mobile phone has become in our daily life. Mobile phones, uh, you know the mobile phones are being used uh, for various activities it has both good sides and bad sides. Bad sides uh, should be avoided and good sides should be applied. Okay, next one. The personal computer. Today, we take for granted that we have one machine that allows us to access the internet, do word processing, use a calculator, watch TV, play games, and do a host of other things. But the personal computer only became available to consumers in 1974. 
things really uh, took off when Microsoft Windows was introduced in 1985. And it's good that it was since without the prevalence of personal computers, the internet wouldn't have had nearly as big an impact as it has ever since. My dear boys and girls, PC, the personal computer, you are well acquainted with this device also. Uh, it has also uh, become an indispensable part of our life. It is one kind of device that can perform multifarious activities, multifarious um, what is the multif multifarious uh, works like uh, uh, browsing the internet, um, then using a calculator, um, then uh, word, uh, word processing, that is composing our important documents, okay, watching TV, TV programs, and so on. Uh, my dear boys and girls, uh, don't you know about Mr. Bill Gates, presently the second richest person in the world, Mr. Bill Gates? He founded a company, namely the Microsoft Corporations. In 1985, that uh, institution uh, invented or introduced Windows software. It was an epoch-making invention because uh, uh, with the help of Windows software, people started accessing internet very, uh, very easily or comfortably. Uh, and internet also became, uh, what to say, less expensive. So we owe a lot to Mr. Bill Gates. Okay. Okay, my dear boys and girls, already uh, I have gone through uh, three inventions, uh, namely uh, the artificial heart, cell phones, and the personal computers. Now, uh, I would like to give you some very important uh, questions uh, basing on uh, basing on these passes. Uh, Please note down the questions. The questions uh, are very, very important for your coming exams. Please note down the questions. My dear boys and girls, can you see the whiteboard clearly? Okay, I'm helping you. Number one, uh, what is an artificial heart? Why is its invention a milestone in the history of medicine? Okay, number two. Number two. Who was Mr. Clark how did he 
become how did he become famous how did he become famous or okay how did he become famous in the world history in the history of the world Okay, uh, who was Mr. Clark? How did he become famous in the history of the world? That is, uh, that is uh, how did he become uh, a part of the history of the world? Okay, next questions. Uh, have written please? Okay. Number three. Why are we indebted to Robert Jarvik? Why are we indebted to Robert Jarvik? Number four. What is a mobile phone? What is a mobile phone? Why has it become an indispensable, indispensable part of our life? Okay, number five. Number five. What is a personal computer? What are what are the advantages of it what are the advantages of it number three why are we indebted to robert jarvi number four what is a mobile phone why has it become an indispensable part of our life Number five, what is a personal computer? What are the advantages of it? Okay, my dear boys and girls, uh, please note down all these uh, questions, which are very, very important for your coming exams. Uh, answer, answer all these questions and please show me the answers afterwards. Uh, now I am to depart. Uh, now I am to depart, uh, my dear boys and girls. Before, before uh, the departure, uh, uh, I would like to request you to stay at home. Please, please, please stay at home. Uh, and always wear a mask if you come out of your house for any indispensable uh, work or function. Please, please don't get uh, infected with this virus. 
uh, inshallah ta'ala we will overcome this uh, situation uh, with uh, with our with our uh, allowed efforts and endeavors thank you very much